everybody, good people of YouTube land. I hope that I find you well and warm and in good spirits. That's all you could wish for anybody really, isn't it? In good spirits. Um, right, we're back again with the bee culture. Bee culture? Bee journal. <laughs> I'm culturing bees. I'm not. Um, and I have committed to this being the front of my journal. I've stuck two little bees on there, which were in the um, Liana Scraps, either the, the Golden Bee Journal or the ephemera that goes with it, um, as was the label. I have also committed to attaching my string. And on the end, I've attached a little bee charm. It's really, really cute. You need to see it. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I've got a whole bag of them. Don't even ask me where they came from. You know where they came from. From my good friend. Um, I'm rather pleased with those, actually. They're quite nice. So, yesterday saw us doing some sewing, some patchwork uh, with paper, which is always nice, I think. Um, so let's have a little look at what we've got. So it opens up like this. When it's finished, it will have rings on the top. Um, so it'll be a sort of, well, it will be a ring bound journal. Rings like, like this, you know, these split ones that open and you put your leaves onto. It'll, they'll be slightly larger than this. This won't do the trick at all. Uh, but I have larger ones, so that's no problem. And there'll be one there, one there, which will catch the front, the back, and all the leaves in it. That's a theory. I've never done this before. I did do a bit of a mock-up. It seemed to work all right. <laughs> so on the strength of that, I've gone careering full length into doing this. So that opens up like that and like that. And I've lined all the inside with uh, some of my 12 by 12 papers. And so far, we've only got two leaves. We've got this one that I did on my own without your company which has got um, this lovely lace pocket that actually looks, if you squint and look from a distance, it looks a bit honeycomby, maybe. Uh, and I've threaded black and yellow ribbon through there. I've put on a, one of these gold bows. Now then, just to set your mind at ease, because I know you'll have been worrying all night about it, Mr. F found my gold uh, bows that I was looking for yesterday. And oddly enough, where they were, was where they should have been. I'd put them away. <laughs> That's why I wasn't looking there. Because I know me, I never put anything away. So anyway, they have been located. This is page number one, and in it we've got a little trifold. You've seen me do those umpteen times. And this little uh, card that's got a little card in. I quite like that. I love these sunflowers. Uh, and, the, you know, of course you can journal on the back. Uh, and it's got a lovely image at the back of this page. Another one from Liana Scraps. They printed out so well. I'm really pleased with this kit. Uh, and that just pops into there. And that pops into there. So that pocket's nice and full. We can flip it over on the rings and nothing's going to come falling out. Which is excellent. That's good. So that's one uh, leaf. Then the other leaf is this one. And this is what we'll be concentrating on today. If I can remember, honestly, it's a right for daddle, this one. I'm sure if you watch it, you'll be able to find ways to do it. <laughs> there aren't so much of a for daddle. Um, and in there, I've put one of our patchwork ones that we made uh, yesterday and a really nice big journaling tag from Liana Scrap Paper. Um, backed it, stenciled it, inked it, sewn it, done everything I can to it. And this is kind of a double pocket and that goes right into the, the back there. And then this one, there's a pocket just in front of it. There is, I promise you. Seems a lot of effort to go to, actually, just to get another pocket. But anyway, uh, so that's the patchwork one in there. So today, I've, I've attached this bit of lace, because, well, I like lace. <laughs> uh, I've attached that and another one of my little bee charms there on a... What do you call these? Bulb clips. Yeah, so... I quite like that page, but the one thing I think I might have got wrong is the scale of the bee. <laughs> He's kind of big, isn't he? Um, and I did cut out another one. Fussy cut out a whole other bee and then cast it aside. I will use it somewhere in the journal, I can tell you. And I cut out the next size down, which is that one. 
Um, it, these bees were just an image. I think I found them on Google. Um, they had no copyright attributed to them. So I just made a whole page of bees and resized them, made them larger, made them smaller. So I've got a whole page of bees to fussy cut. Excellent news. Can't wait. Um, that's when people with the uh, scan and cut and whatever are laughing because <laughs> you just put it in and it cuts it out but uh, we don't have one of those here so I cut it out so I think that's going to look better there than that great big hulking bee that we've got so let's set all this aside onto the finished pile I think um, leave that out that big bee he can go away somewhere I'm not likely to lose him, am I? Not the size he is. I'll put it up there and amongst all the other stuff. Can I just say to you also, this is VersaFine Claire. I've never used it before. This is Golden Meadow. Um, I've never used it before because I've always gone down the archival route and the Distress Ink route. And I like archival, but they don't have the biggest range of colours. Um, and I must say, I am really taken with this VersaFine Claire. I haven't even stamped with it yet, and I bet it's brilliant, because that really is what it's intended for, you know, fine details on a stamp. But it's pigment ink, which means you can put it down and then you can apply some uh, watercolour, whatever it is, water base to it, and this will stay put. So a bit of a big plug there for VersaFine Claire. It's, I really love it. And after this live, I'm going to go online and see if I can get me some more colours. So that's that. Right, OK. This is a bit, as I said, a bit of a fadaddle, so bear with me. Right, let's do a roll call before we get going. Terry. Hiya, Terry. Roz. Hi, Roz. Denise. Hello, Benice. Carol. Hi, Carol. Violet. Hello, Violet. Jen. Hiya, Jen. Jan. Hiya, Jan. Mike. Hello, Mike. Kerry. Hi, Kerry. Janya. Hi, Janya. Deborah. Hello, Deborah. Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Connie. Hi, Connie. Miranda. Hello, Miranda. I think that's it. Oh, Crafty Pat. Hello, Crafty Pat. <coughs> well, thanks very much, everybody, for joining me. I'm not sure how this shift in time is affecting people. Um, it seems to me like some of the regulars of it's not suiting them so much, but we do seem to be getting new names. So I don't know. We'll, we'll stick with it, as I said, for a little while and see how it goes. Right. OK, let's make a start with this. What do I need to do first? I need a, a page that it's going to go on. That's what I need. So I've got some pages here. But I thought I had another one that was really pretty. Off to a great start. This is the best start you could think of. Uh, no. OK, so we'll stick with one of these. I'm not sure whether that should be the top. I think that I think that's better as the top. I don't know about that one. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm going to stick with this one anyway um, and use that. <coughs> right. This measures the paper that I'm using, the design paper, measures five and three eighths. The entire piece of card measures five and five eighths. So I've left an eighth all the way around. Uh, and the length of it, if you're interested, if you're wanting to do one of these yourself, is nine and three eighths. No, it's not nine and anything, it's eight. The card is eight and five eighths and the paper is, forget that, just forget what I said. The length of the card is eight and three eighths. Yes. The length of the paper inside it is eight and one eighth. Hooray. So we've got there so in the end. one eighth border, basically. We have a one eighth border <laughs> all the way around, yes. So whatever you're doing, whatever size or shape or whatever it is you decide on, uh, I have left an eighth of an inch border and I quite like that because I want to show off this card which is real honey coloured and it was a file folder uh, which then facilitated making this 
because this is part of you can see it can't you it's part of a of a file folder that I just chopped off so lovely right I'm going to leave that at the top because if I put it at the bottom under the pocket you're never going to see it so right first thing that you need if yeah you need a piece of paper I nearly said something else I've changed my mind and this pocket here measures four and a half I'm not sure that I need to make it quite as big for this little fella I could make a smaller pocket but then Mr F's ready he's braced ready to go with the Sizzix hotshot thing um, to cut another one this size so I might confuse him a bit too much if I ask for another size but he'll, he'll cope he'll definitely cope so whatever size I decide I want that because this is an acetate window here you see I'm explaining things really well today, aren't I? <laughs> well, then again, not. Um, right, so let's have a little look. I could make it three and a half inches, which is an inch less than that. And I think that would be better for a pocket, three and a half inches. So I'm going to cut my, uh, this is a piece of sort of better quality copy paper. And I need a bigger square to cut it with. Bring out the big guns. It's taken me all morning to try and fathom out this blinking pocket, honestly. Um, it's a joke. <laughs> well, it's not a joke. It's dr driven me daft. Dafter than I normally am, even. Right, so that's three and a half, and I'm cutting it off lengthways. Lovely. And the three and a half pieces, the piece that we want to keep, this piece uh, for the moment, is not required. Right, where's my bit of paper that I'm doing it onto? Here. Excuse me. So behind the B, there's some design paper, as you can see. Well, I hope you can see. It's honeycomb design paper from the Liana scraps kit. And I'd like to use that again behind the acetate. And I want it the same size as the this paper. I'm making a meal out of this, guys. So for the first thing I'm going to do is cut this across at three and a half. And I'm going to use this pattern piece rather than the planer piece. Because I think the planer piece I could back um, a tag or something with it. And you'd still have journaling there. I, li I like it a lot. I must say, I'll tell you, and I know it's a design team project. But that paper that I'm using, that design kit, hasn't half printed out well. I hope you can see that. Mr. F's just mooching around me putting the sewing cam on and 10 to 1 on I'll want whatever it is that he's sat the thing down on but I don't know that I do Mr. F's so don't worry right so we've got that now at the same height now I need to make it the same width or maybe slightly a titch less so that is as we said 5 and 3 eighths that paper so I need this to be five and not quite a quarter. Just a touch over a quarter. <laughs> That's as exact as it's going to get. There we go. Right, let's cut that off. I'm just going to chuck that out because that's the sort of inked bit in the middle of the page spread that I don't really have a use for. Okay. So this is the size of our pocket. This is where the B's going to go. Nice. And I need to make the pocket out of this. And I really hope, I really, really hope I can remember how to do it. So I just want a little bit left on the end to fold over. Let's mark it this way. Put that there and mark it there 
So that's where I need to fold it for the first fold. So get that right on that line. Let's just check that it is. No, not exactly. Let's check that one. Yeah, that's pretty good. And straighten your paper up as you fold it because it has really wants to go wandering all, all the time. All paper does. Wandering paper, I tell you. Curse of the junk journalers. Which leaves us this little bit here that I'm also going to fold over in a sec. So that should fit in there nicely. Yeah, needs just a smidge off it because, of course, there's a little bit of room taken over with that crease. So I'm just going to cut that down so it's level. I mean, it's it's nothing. It's half or nothing. There we go. That was it. That was what all that was about. And then I'm going to fold this over there. I did try this with an envelope first off, but I had to dismantle the envelope anyway because I wanted to sew it. So it just seemed I might as well just do it out of paper. And then it doesn't matter if you've got the right size envelope or not because you're making it out of paper. Okay, so, right, out of here I need a rectangle that's big enough for the bumblebee. So if I draw you a little line, Mr. F. Yep. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, could you cut me a rectangle out, please, fairly centrally? Doesn't matter if they're slightly wider, if they're slightly larger than that, but that's the smallest I can do with. Later on, for your excitement and delectation, <laughs> I'm going to try and dye some ribbon. I've got loads of ribbon, and it's absolutely the brightest yellow you've ever seen. Uh, and it's too yellow for my project really. So I'm going to try and dye this. You know the way we dye seam binding? I'm going to give it a go and see if I can dye that. I mean I've got 25 metres of it. <laughs> <coughs> and unless I intend doing a bee journal every week of my life, I'm, I'm not going to run out of this yellow, I can tell you that. So I'll set that to one side so I remember to do that. Uh, I Just in the interim, ink this bee because he's a bit He's a bit white. I printed him on white paper. Perhaps I ought to have printed him onto um, some cream paper as an afterthought. Well, I've had no news about my second jab yet. Um, they did say up to 12 weeks, so we're not we're not at that stage yet. But I'd like to get it and get it over with, and then. I'm not going to go roaming around meeting people or anything. You just feel like you've got a bit more security, don't you? Right, that's him inked. So that's fine. Um, I have been cutting out other tiny ones. Look at these. I don't know, there's something wrong with you if you cut things out that's that small and complicated. The other thing I will need is some acetate. So I've got, oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Um, some acetate to make it the little window with. So let's pop this onto here. Let's see where we are. Oh yeah, I think that's much better. Definitely. I'm just wondering now if that paper is a bit too busy. Busy bee. <laughs> Would I be better off with this one? Well, I think I would actually, particularly if I can get catch these little bits of honeycomb in. Can get some acetate next size up. Oh, yeah, that would be fabulous. Two sizes up. Thank you. To you. Um, next size will be fine, I think. So yeah, let's just. I'm going to use that. Sorry if I'm irritating you by chopping and changing, but I want to get it right. So just 
there's just a sliver to come off there and then along here all right let's chop that out then it's just the other one I, I didn't think you could see the bee very well and after all that's what it's about so it is just a teensy sliver off down here and then square it up along the bottom is three and a half inches there so I reckon that must be somewhere near right okay so that's gonna go there the bee's gonna go on top the acetate's going to go on top, then we're going decorating. Oh, it's coming together actually, better than I thought it might. Uh, so we need to just stick this bee on. We need to stick them on centrally. I think it might help us actually if we had that paper over it. Might give us a bit of a head start to where centre is. Right there. I could put them a bit on the conk actually, if I wanted. No, I'm going to put them square. Thanks very much indeed. Um... Yeah, I'm going to put him square. And I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer because it kind of... Um, it dries quick and it's very effective glue. And I'm nearly at the end of it and I won't be replacing it. Because I'm sick of paying out loads of money for fancy glues. I bought that big thing of PVA and I haven't even really tested it, so... Um, I'm, I'm going to move on to that next, see what happens. Right, that's quite a lot of glue on there. So, is that central? About central? Needs to come that way a little bit. Yeah, I think that's not too bad. Get your dry wet wipe out, because there's bound to be spillages with these thin little legs. And his antenna. I mean, look at that, a fussy cut now. What's wrong with me? Right, okay, so the next thing we need to do is, yeah, I like him better on that paler background. Definitely I do. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is attach the acetate, which is this one, which Mr. F has just kindly cut out in the size above this one. Now, I have, specifically for this type of thing, got some really thin double-sided I don't know what that is it's it's thin it's an eighth of an inch exactly so I'm going to go around that <laughs> when I find the end <laughs> round and round the garden like a teddy bear one step two steps yeah, found the end. Over there, just to finish the pole. Right, so I'm going to go quite close to the um, to the aperture that we've just cut. Aperture, get me. It's the weather forecast for today is, or the weather should I say, it's dull, it's windy, it's raining. Where is the heat wave they promised us? No idea. It's certainly not here. I think in fairness they did say the middle of next week and it's probably only going to last a day so <laughs> it's not worth looking out your bikini and your shorts. Not that I have either of those things. <laughs> But, yeah, that brings me on to another topic. The diet. Yeah, the diet. It started on Thursday. I couldn't start it on Wednesday because I had Kerry's birthday cake to eat. <laughs> uh, so Mr. Evan and myself scrammed that. And uh, I have started a proper, let's do it, diet. Because I'm diabetic, as you all know. And I really, I really should be taking care of what I eat. You know... I'm too young to die, despite the fact I'm 61. That sounds ridiculous when I say that. 
so yeah we're down to sort of proteins less carbs whatever um and when mr f was shopping last week he bought some um bread buns that you, you know they're sort of half baked you know half baked a bit like me um that you finish off in the oven so they're like fresh baked bread crumbs oh my goodness me the smell of them the aroma in the house fresh baked bread come on it's just not fair right so that's going to get stuck onto that let's just line it up because i don't want to muck it up particularly come on oh that's very sticky that double-sided there we go perfect job I'm using double-sided because honestly acetate is a it's a pig to get stuck down it really is it, uh, it it just doesn't want to to stick so this now needs to go in there like that I'm just thinking it might not be exactly straight I'm just going to cut a tiny little bit off there because I'm, I think we've got a little bit of an excess situation. Yeah, that's fine. Looks well, doesn't it? Looks very well. Now, before I stick him in, do I want to ink around him? Yeah, maybe a bit. I don't think you're going to see it, actually. But I'll do it anyway for the sake of completeness so I'm back onto the uh, distress ink in vintage photo <clears throat> and I'm just doing it as I've done everything in this kit using this brush to give you a sort of um, wider distress I just like it you don't have to do it do it the way we normally do it will be fine but I think when you look through the acetate you might just catch a little bit of this so ooh. excuse me so there we are I think it really it works when you ink that way it brings to life whatever's in the center and I, I quite like it not on all journals it doesn't work on all journals um, and I wouldn't like to do it with something like walnut stain or gathered twigs because they're darker and I, it would be too kind of bordering on the grunge for me. So, okay, let's... What's the first thing I need to do? Let's just have a think. That's the first thing. Yeah, I need to stick that down. So I shall use the Cosmic Shimmer. Is this the right way? I'm sorry, I'm just... I've only done this once and that was like an hour ago and I can't remember. Yeah, I'm going to put the glue on here. No, I'm going to glue it onto here, aren't I? Yeah. Because you're using yeah. the coffee time. Yeah. Alright, I might not use the cosmic shimmer. There we go. Just going to steer clear a little bit of that very top border so I have other plans for it. Okay. Oops. Is that all right? Thank you. It's funny, isn't it, when you can't just can't get your brain around something. Right, there we are. Let's press that down, get the cloth out, give it a really good press. Let's just see if it's the right size or not. Oh, it'll be all right because acetate's going over that bit. Well, that's amazingly good. It's a smidge too big there. That's it, right. So now the next thing is that bit goes over onto there. Now I've done that the wrong way. Because that's supposed to be the bit that makes the pocket. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. It 
I can glue that just the same. Um, yeah, no, I wanted to. Um, I wanted to sew along there. Oh, I don't think that's right. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, it does. Okay, instead of making two pockets, I'm making one. I think I should have done it that way. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's just soldier on. Um. So what did I do with this one? Well, I went round it with some scraps of paper. I sewed across the top. Uh, and then I attach this ribbon and lace and stuff like that and it'll still look fine. The thing about this one, the one I made earlier is, it's a double pocket. But they're the same height anyway. So I question that it's worth doing all that, making it a double pocket, because you can't even see. So I think we're fine. I'm not um, too perturbed. So the first thing I want then is some paper to... Put it on. Let's have a look. These are my scraps once again coming out. Oh, I've got that. I like that one. Stick the bead to the front of the acetate on this one. To the front? It's outside, is it? Yes. Doesn't get covered up. It's not going to get. It's not going to get covered up. I'm not covering it. It's there. That's inside the acetate. Yes, but it's the same size as the acetate, isn't it? On yeah. That you've got it on the. You stuck it to the back. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's progress, and we can have a, a what you would call it, steward's inquiry after. Right. I'm going to put this down one side. So I'm going to rip it, and I'm, I'm useless at ripping. If I'm useless at using scissors, I'm really extra useful at extra rubbish at paper. And I hate doing it, that's why I bought the Deckle Edge trimmer. But I want it a bit more deckly than that. <laughs> a bit more deckly. Oh, that's just going to fit. Okay. Let's tear that off. This needs inking up before we stick it on because it's, well, this bit actually hasn't got any of those white edges, <laughs> but I'm going to ink it anyway. And I'm just going to go down the, the side. Ordinary inking, as you might say. And the top, right, let's get that stuck on. Judith Eddington says hi, it's the first time she's caught you. Oh, hiya Judith, welcome, very welcome. You, you've joined me on a live that's um, a bit bitty, but I think we'll get there. So that's going to go there, it's going to get stuck onto the edge of, of, of this, the piece with the acetate. So let's stick that on. Ooh, I thought I had the lid on my glue and I didn't. Well, by lid, I mean pin. Right, so let's just line that top up because we know it's square. And then along the side there, lovely. Just get your cloth out quick. Press that down. So that's covered up that whole white edge that really didn't look attractive at all. And cut off the excess there. Lovely job. Uh, then we need something for down this side, obviously. Um, so, I could use the same. I could use the same. Would it look nicer if it was the same? Yeah, I think it might. Where's the piece I've just been ripping? Here, this piece, yeah. Let's carry on ripping that then. Oh, I've got, look at my fingers. They're so full of glue. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's the same upside down this, so it'll be fine. Try not to make it too thin. Needs to cover that white, definitely. Yep, 
yeah it's covering it we're, we're, we're all right we're fine doesn't really matter about the top because another piece is going on there so I just need to ink that oh sorry I just <laughs> I just hit the microphone it's definitely one of those days isn't it we all get them I know you get them too where, where just everything you you cut is you know an inch too long or and it's an inch too short which is even more annoying um and the best thing to do, I think, on days like that is walk away. Because it doesn't matter. You, you just can't get the better of it. But I'm not going to walk away from this. I'm going to make you sit there and watch me struggle. Right. So this piece is going to go down there. Yeah, I'm, oh, got a load of ink on there. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I want to go home now. Do you think the rubber, the glue rubber will take that off? Oh, it is a little bit, I suppose. Not massively. Yeah, I think that's okay. I don't want to keep rubbing it because disaster might happen it's a problem when you board that you use for inking is dirty um, when you turn things over to the ink on the reverse it's always a danger that you get ink on the uh, on the face of what you're doing okay so let's stick this one down like that that's great, it's wide enough to cover the border, which is what we're after. Cut off the excess. I don't know what Mr F's doing, but he's doing something. He's concentrating on something. What can it be? I do not know. Um, we could still make this a double pocket. I just thought of that, we could. Because we could have the card going in there. Would it catch on the B? Hmm, might. I'm going to make it a single pocket. So this is going to go along the top. Because I love this paper. It's really, really nice. Sparkly and shiny. The texture's really shiny. Um, so I just need to tear along here. I think this is what I did with the other one. I've kind of given up, really. long enough is it heck so are any of you doing a bee journal I know Jen's doing one is anybody else doing a bee journal I'd be interested to know how you're getting on hopefully still slightly better than me so that's going to go across the top there that looks nice I like that so let's ink this up. Along here. Did any of you catch Tim Holtz live yesterday afternoon? Well, it might be about lunchtime for you, I think. Um, I think he started it while I was live, which means he's brought it forward a bit. Um, and I, I didn't manage to catch it. I was lying down in a darkened room. <laughs> I wasn't. But I might be after this one. So I'll just ink the edge like we normally would. Down there, right. Let's get this stuck on so that's going to go there that's quite nice actually isn't it so I'm going to stick it but I'm going to stick mainly to the bottom because I'm going to sew and I don't really want my machine going through this wet uh, glue so it's to about there right so 
So all this flapping and fussing about, it's just ended up being a pocket, but it's a pocket with acetate and a B, so it's quite nice. That'll do. I'll leave the top, as I say, because I'm going to sew it. Let's get that squared up in that corner. Run along there. Let's bring it to me to make sure it's exactly right. Yeah, I think so. Trim off the excess. I'm going to throw that straight in the bin because it's very gluey. Uh, right, okay. So, so far so good. So what I'm going to do is zigzag across the top here. Um, just straight zigzag, nothing fancy about it at all. slightly over there but it absolutely does not matter. It's only a couple of mils anyway. Right so we've got stitching up there. Doesn't that look nice? Looks lovely. I think that's nice. That's nicer than the other one. Right so I can put my paper strips away for another day. We'll see if I can work through all of them in the process of doing this journal. I doubt it but I'll try. Make sure everything's clean and dust free, etc. etc. Oops, there we go. So, on the bottom of the other one, I put some lace. Uh, in fact, I put this lace and some ribbon. This lace is too wide, it's too wide. Have I got any other lace anywhere? Any thinner, not as wide lace. Can you bring it? Bring it. Oh. Well, that's white. Oh no, it's cream. Yeah, that will do just the job. And there's only a little bit of it left. So lovely. Thanks, Mister. You're welcome, my sweet. Yeah, this is a. This is better. This is just altogether better. Uh, and I've also got some of this ribbon. This is all I've got in the world of this. Um, it's really lovely quality satin ribbon. And there's one side that's, yeah, this side. So my intention is to put that over there, like that. Put this over there, like that. And that will be the bottom of our pocket. Then I'll just put a little clip in there with a B on it. It's quicker doing it wrong, I can tell you. It took me ages the other way. So I'm going to stick that on with double-sided, but I'm going to use some sort of reasonable width. Because that other one is tiny. Perfect, though, when you just need a tiny bit of tape. So I want that all the way across to the edge. like that and if you're not happy sewing through double sided uh, I understand um, and just use some tack it on with some glue just to get it to the to the sewing machine really I don't think I put double sided on the last one just being overly fussy because you're watching Right, I think it's that side. So we'll just attach that to there, making sure that you cover up the top of that white 
don't want to see any of that white. That's why we're using this ribbon, because we don't want to see the white border. And just cut off the excess again. And here. So that's it. That's all I've got left for my rest of my journal. <laughs> Won't be using too much of that, I don't think. I think you can flash this with a lighter, you know, a cigarette lighter, and get it to um, not fray. But that's on double sided, so it won't fray much at all. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is attach this. I think that's the right side, that side there. And I'm going to attach it so it's on the ribbon, but you can still see the ribbon, and just over the bottom of the ribbon. So you see the frills and not the bottom of the ribbon, if you get me gist. So let's just cut that off there. Um, I'm, I'm going to trust myself. I'm going to trust myself on the sewing machine. So if I sew that there, is that definitely going to be inside the card? I think so. Right, um, I'm still on zigzag. Yikes. Let's hope this works. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'm nervous already. really doesn't like double sided I can tell you that. Come on little machine, you're doing really well. I can see the glue actually on the needle. I really should not have done that. Yeah it's missing stitches because it's glue. Yeah, it's missing too many stitches. Oh, in fact, it's snapped its thread and everything. Really doesn't like that. Let's just thread this up again. See if I can unpick those stitches and I'll sew it straight. Uh, oh, I looked away now, I've forgotten where I am. I'll have to re thread it. got a knot on the end that's not helping yeah so you see first hand do not use double sided and then try and sew through it it's not big it's not clever don't do it so it's definitely not worth it I've got a sort of knob of glue up there on my needle let's just try and get that off the world's worst life <laughs> oh dear I thought everything was going swimmingly well yesterday but I'm not sure if there's glue on that needle that's stopping it threading I, th I think there might be I'm going to change my needle yeah it feels really sticky it's horrible I made a right boo boo So the needles I use are Schmetz needles, I buy them in quantity because I get through them. Thank you, my love. There we go, right, let's thread this up again and hopefully we won't wreck another needle. Glue everywhere. I should have listened. 
when people said don't don't sew through double sided tape. There we go. Right, you know, what do they say the the definition of insanity is doing some saying the same thing twice and expecting different results. Is that it? That's it. Yeah, well I'm about to do something twice and I'm expecting different results. It's official. Yeah, it's official. I am mad. I wonder if I could get that slightly further down there and it would be off the tape pretty much. Yeah, I'll give that a try. Oh, itch. Yeah, I'm going to sew it there. That's what I'm going to do. And then I think it's off the tape. close call wasn't it and that yeah it's still there that's all right so let's cut the threads off then we'll cut the excess lace off I'm surprised you can't hear that rain lashing against the window it's really heavy and horrible and dark right let's cut the the oh, oh no I'm sorry <laughs> This is one not to do. Right, let's just trim this up and stop being silly. And this side as well. Okay, so there we go. That gets stuck down onto there and then we've got a pocket in there if we really wanted. Um, but I might just glue that down actually. I think I'll glue that down and just make the one pocket in the back, this one here. Because I think if we're continually putting things in and out of the, this pocket, it'll catch on the B and in no time it'll look not so good. So I'm going to glue this. I might have to cut a little bit off there. Or I could just, no, no, I have to make a pocket. Okay, so let's trim this down here. Trim this a little bit. Then I need to glue that in there. You weren't making that a pocket where the bee was. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's right. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. But I still need to connect that to there. Just glue it. <laughs> Just glue it. Just glue it. For pity's sake, what's wrong with you today? I don't know. Something. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. Right, so I'm gluing that to there. I have now made a pocket. Hooray. I'm sure we could have done that in two minutes flat, but we didn't. We made a huge, great meal out of it, which would be very nice when you're on a diet. That would suit me fine. Right, so I'm just going to cut that off and then it's a done deal. We've, we've done, we're done with the pocket. Down there again. Everywhere else ink nicely, just ink up here. Yeah, I think so. So there we have it. We have a bee pocket. Hooray! I hear you all shout. Now will you stop? No. <laughs> so this is gonna go 
onto our uh, page, our leaf, if you like. And, well, something's right. It's the exact perfect width. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, and I would quite like this lace to be hanging off the bottom. About there. You can see the bottom of the card is there. Bottom of the paper is there. So I could bring it down a wee little bit. Down to about there. Yeah, like it. Let's glue it. I'm really sorry, guys. It wasn't that I was unprepared, because I, I was prepared. I, ju I just don't know, things just started to go wrong and then we had a snowball effect. <laughs> just gonna put quite a bit of glue on those stitches because they're always reluctant to join the party. Okay, so I want my card to be at the bottom, like that. Let's just check that's at the bottom, almost. Yeah, I think that's fine. Give it a good press down. Oh, you have to say it looks nice though. It might have been a bit of an effort to get there, but it is nice. Come on, just move move a titchy bit for me. Thank you, that's fine. Yeah, that's it, we're dead straight. Whoa, I've done something right. Just lift, lift its skirts up and give it a good press underneath. There we go, right. I'm gonna get the wonderful clips that Fancy Nancy bought me and sent to me all the way from America, from Colorado. Um, and I'm just going to just clip it while it dries and then we can, uh, we can get on making some um, journal, you know, journaling cards and stuff. These clips are wonderful. I don't know how I've got through my life without them. They're so strong. Honestly, it's unbelievable how strong they are. Right, so there we are. That can sit and enjoy its day drying by the beach uh, while well, we get on and make some cards, some journaling cards for it. Let me put stuff away because I've got stuff and stuff and stuff everywhere. Right, so let's have a look and see what papers we've got and what we can use. And I haven't got the full set anymore obviously because I've been using it. Let's see what's here. Oh well, isn't that gorgeous? That would make a fabulous journaling card, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's one. Uh, the sunflowers. Ooh, I like those too. I'll lay that out as a definite, maybe. Uh, they're nice. That's nice. Good for journaling, look. On this side, and you could back it so you'd have a really good double journaling card mm -hmm. these ones that's nice isn't it oh and on the back oh blimey I spoke for choice I think that's all the actual papers I've got and that one but it similar to that so yeah I think that's all the actual papers that I've got so I do need to decide which one I'm going with uh, well what size do we need it might be a good starting point we need it say so down to about there so yeah about seven and a quarter would cover this but I, I quite like it a bit shorter, so as you can see, something of that flower. So I think six and a half is good. And we could get away with four inches. We'd probably get away with four and a half, to be honest. But four, six by four is what I'm going to go for. So let's have a look at these and see if I can get a nice card out of them. That's six by four. Let's put things away. Everybody likes the clips. Oh, they're fabulous. I can't thank Nancy enough for them. 
I recommend everybody go out and buy some. They are absolutely brilliant. So yeah, I could get four out of that and still include all the sunflowers. And if I was doing six... Jenny scissors came in a fancy tin. Oh, did they? This is a tin that Mr. F bought me for Valentine's Day. Lint chocolates. Obviously, it hasn't got any chocolates left in it. <laughs> but it's it's great. I love it. I really, I just love the tin. So that's where my clips live in there. Anyway, where were we? At six inches. I think I'm going to have to make it six and a half. I think six is just going to be a little bit on the scant side so yeah let's cut one out at six by six and a half by four yeah come on get with the program have any of you bought this um b journal oh i'm wondering anybody intending to do a bee journal. The papers. Yeah, the I kit. Digi kit. Uh, yeah, that's fine at four there. I don't know, maybe four and a quarter would be better. Yeah, I'm cutting it at four and a quarter. Don't really want that. I've got enough little scraps. And I wanted it six and a half. So six and a half brings me down to there, which is perfect. Right, let's do that then. I'm going to keep that bit because you never know. Six and a half. Okay, that bit, no, that's going, that's ridiculous keeping stuff like that. So this, let's just check, where did I put the thing with the clips on? Oh, come on, I can't have lost it. There it is. Let's just check that that's going to fit in there. Yes, it is, it's going to be lovely actually. So let's back that then and uh, get it inked up, stenciled, blah, blah. What am I going to back it with? Coffee paper. Oh, that's paper. I want the thicker stuff. So I'll get out a couple of these sheets when I'm here. Oh, I've only got one. I've only got one. Make the most of it. Right. So let's get this glued on. It's actually been ironed this, so it's quite, I think I probably can go right up to the corner. And then that way it would make the most of my coffee stained card paper stuff. Thick paper is what it is, it's not card. The, the the kit's on eBay. Starter packs. Etsy, I mean to say. I presume that's what she's doing. Uh, yes, or, or a digital kit. Uh, I've made it so that, it, you know, if, if you don't want to, or haven't got a printer or whatever, a 12 by 12 pad. Uh, and I, I'll mention, I think, uh, on the video, the pads that I recommend, that I will be using. But it's entirely up to you. If you can find a digi kit that you really like, that's excellent. It's just I know that some people don't print out papers. So I'm trying to make it um, so fair, you know, so they can join in with us. Oh, I've got glue all over the front of this. Fortunately, collar rubs off. I think it must be on one of my fingers. Good job collar rubs off, isn't it, really? Right, let's get that cut out, inked up, sewn around. Uh, 
and I'm just going to wait for this to dry before I put it through the machine because I'm terrified now that I'm going to wreck my machine for good and ever. I'm going to use a slightly cleaner uh, mat to do my inking on. And I think I was saying yesterday, try and always remember to ink before you stitch because it's it's awkward getting getting it right once it's been stitched. The um, the thread wants to hang on to the ink and it just doesn't doesn't look right. Fancy Nancy is just telling everybody how grateful I am that you sent me those clips. You know, the little clips. They're fabulous. I use them so often. They're so strong as well. Don't forget, we've still got the attempt at dyeing the uh, yellow ribbon. Nowhere near an old oak tree. That's tie a yellow ribbon. I know that's not dye a yellow ribbon, but it would be fun. <laughs> there we go, that just needs stitching. So I'll pop that over there for the time being. And I just need to find myself a couple of other things to stick in with it. I quite like that. And lo and behold, I have one here that's already made. So I'm going to use that. This one hasn't been back, so I'm going to back it. Perfect. That little spot there is just perfect for it. Well, next weekend is Easter weekend, as I'm sure you know, and, oh, I know why Nancy's just joined us, because our clock's changed. Ooh, Jean was late for the same reason. Yeah, forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot to warn you about that. Sorry, guys, really sorry. With respect to Nancy and Jean, you've probably missed the worst live I've ever done in my life. Everything just uh, was not coming up roses. Yeah, but it is Easter weekend next weekend. And so there will be no lives. I'm having a weekend off. Uh, and I always said that in January and then I came up with Mr. Green. <laughs> um, but I am. I really am having the weekend off. There will be videos going up during the week, both of the Bee uh, Journal and of the Nature Kit. And um, the week after that, immediately after Easter, I'll be pretty much flying low because that's the week that we're wallpapering and got the fire people coming in and whatever. So I won't be, I can't be around because I won't be able to get to my desk. So um, from Easter, you probably won't see me for in person for... Well, from today, you probably won't see me for a couple of weeks, to be honest. But I'll keep you updated as to what's going on, just how awful it all is. It's just going to be a big upheaval. I just know it. I don't like upheavals. But you've got to grin and bear it, I'm afraid. I think, I think the three of us, Bobby, Mr. F and myself, We'll probably just take ourselves off for the day somewhere um, and come back when they're finished. I did ask them when they came if they were perfectly all right working by themselves and they said, yeah, absolutely. So uh, I think that's what we'll do. Right, I'm just going to put a stencil on the back of these. That one's already got it. I don't know how come I've got a journal card sitting there ready to rock, but I have. That's the top, so there we go. Um, where's my Versafine? Get 
everything ready to rock. Right, so bearing in mind it's going to have stitches. Um, I'm just going to do the center of him with a yellow and then come around the edge with a vintage photo. Like that. Yeah, like him. And this little fella here. He just needs a little, just a little bee. Just about there. And even then he might get caught in the stitches, but I think we'll be all right. I'm just going to dab a little bit of that colour and mix in my inks. Shouldn't do it. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Lids on inks. All my pins and my glues. Yes. Lovely. Okay, let's sew around these. Just putting a lock stitch on. Moving my needle further over. And move it to eight. Right. Isn't that the prettiest little journal card? It's gorgeous. I do love sunflowers. Pictures of sunflowers. I love pictures of sunflowers. They're not my most favourite um, flower in all the world. I don't actually know what is my favourite flower. I love them all. I love when you see the daffodils, the sort of first hint of spring coming. Um, but I wouldn't say daffodils were my favourite flower either. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to say really. So we'll get that right on the corner. done the back of this leaf this loose leaf yet um, but I'm, I think I'm going to make them fairly simple and um, just for journaling really because um, I don't want thick things everywhere or I'll never be able to shut my journal it has got a bit of tolerance for, for thickness but not masses So I'm just going to uh, round the corners on this just to make it easier to get into the pocket because it is quite wide. And just take your, your dabber with you because where you've cut it won't have any ink. So just do the corners. sure actually that I want to sew around that. I'm going to leave that I think. I think it would just look too cramped and it would be over the top of what's already a border so I'm going to leave that. Um, I'm just going to go over this with ink because it looks a bit pale around the edge. Lovely. Right, so let's have a look at the page we've built. Let's put things away a little bit. Here it is. So that glue ought to be dry by now, I would have thought. It's fast drying glue. So let's take these off and see. See how much glue I've got on me. It's sticking to me. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. That's great. Fabulous. So, in goes the big journaling card right at the back. And because it's got rounded corners, it slides in more readily. So that's there. And then I've just got these two little ones that 
I'm just going to go at the front. Like that. That's, that's fine. So that's that. I'm happy with that. That's my page finished. Let's put these clips away. I like the little acetate window with the B. Um, I showed you a very circuitous route to get there, but at least, you know, we're there. And it's really rather nice, I think. So that's two pages we've got finished. Fabulous. Uh, now, let's let's see if we can dye some yellow ribbon. Get my glass mat out. And did I put the ribbon away? I don't, oh no, now it's a hunt. Oh, here it is. Right, you should really use gloves for this because you'll get your hands filthy. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try about a yard, about a yard, which is going to be difficult to see. It's about there. Because I don't want to, I mean, for all I've got loads of it, and it's actually not much use to me in the colour it is, but I don't want to waste it either. So let's stick that there and stop it coming unwound in my drawer. So I've got my spritzer with water, just plain water. Got my distress ink in vintage photo. Let's give it a go. Let's just squash that down onto your, your mat. I might need quite a bit of ink. Let's try that. Sometimes it's better, it works better if you give whatever it is that you're dying a bit of a spritz first as well. Just kind of get it going, ready, receptive. We haven't got any gloves, have we, Mr. F? I'm just I'm balking at putting my hands in that. Yes, <laughs> uh, yes. marigolds are it? Yeah, marigolds would be fine. See, I've moved over to this side of the screen because I was always doing things here and then this side of the machine, I'm not doing anything because the sewing machine's here. So Mr. F has moved my head across. Thank you. Actually, smaller ones, the nitrile ones. I'll try, the, I think these would be all right. It's just... I just don't fancy having brown hands forever in a day. No, these are brown. Help if you put the thumb the right way. I was around. just thinking, I don't know where to put my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be right. Well, I tell you what, just leave them on and you can do the washing up after. I can't, I've got nail varnish on. Oh, I could if I had marigolds. Hmm. I often do the washing up. I do. <laughs> Right, here we go. I am suitably attired. <laughs> What's it come to, eh? Banana fingers. Oh, I think that's going to be lovely. I think that's actually going to be the sort of colour that I want. It might be a bit dark, actually. Hmm. There's plenty left, so I'm going to get some more out. This isn't easy with marigolds on. I'm going to get some more and uh, and use up that ink. I don't know if I can manipulate that sellotape off there. Oh yeah. Oh, wrong side. Okay, so I'm going to try this bit in it as well. It looks bright orange on screen, but it's not. It's like a an old gold colour, that's what I'll call it. Yeah, there we go, I'm really delighted with that. So all I need to do now is um, dry it. Oh, well, that's perfect, I'm delighted with that. Really 
good. I've got some other ribbon. <laughs> Flush with success, I'm moving on. I've got this, this wider ribbon. Have you got any of the original? I'd like to see. Yeah, it's there, look. The difference, like. Oh, these scissors one cut butter. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a definite change. A definite change. I'm going to try this wider one. I think it's a less good quality, this wider one. So um, it might be more kind of man-made and not so... Not that I'm suggesting there's anything blinking natural about that one. Right, let's try this then. Just think this might be slightly more resistant. But then again, I could be wrong. Be the first time, wouldn't it, Mr. F, if I was wrong? <laughs> About anything. That's what the official memo said, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that, that's taken that real canary yellow off and given me a colour that I really like. If you've got any patches, just scrunch it in your hands and it'll transfer all around the place. Yeah, that that's, that's a plus. That's a, yeah, that's the colour it was. Look. Don't look that different but it trust me this is yellow it's really bright not nice yellow okay so they just need to be dried and then they will be ready to be um, brought into action as and when they are needed amazing that went better than i thought it would right so there we go guys that is me done for today and actually as i say done for me for probably fortnight a week on saturday week yesterday um because i'm having easter off then the week after that we're getting the new fireplace so that makes recording anything absolutely a, a no-no um because that's in the room where i work and then it'll be the next weekend so hopefully if we've got the wallpaper on and everything sort of tidied up again I will be doing a live then but I'll keep you informed I'll be on the group if any of you are watching that aren't on the group uh, the group I'm referring to is Miss Paint-a-Lot's Junk Journal group on Facebook Miss Paint-a-Lot's Junk Journal group and we're oh it's just lovely people just lovely kind and generous people so thank you very very much for joining me I'm sorry it's been a bit of a funny old life but we got there in the end I quite like it got any ink on that no so this was our finished result which i think is quite nice it's certainly bee themed <laughs> so i'll see you soon I'll, I'll you know be watching what you're doing on uh, facebook etc so be good be good that's all i can say behave yourselves stay well stay warm and thanks for watching bye take care see you soon bye Thank <laughs> you.